Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem nine point one nine. So in this problem, it is given that for the beam and loading shown, determine the reaction at roller support. So you have to find this reaction at this roller support. So if you draw the free body diagram, so there will be a reaction force at R at point A, which is R A, and similarly there will be a, at fixed end there will be a reaction support player at R B as well as there will be a moment. There. So you can see we have four unknowns and by using equilibrium condition or equilibrium equation of equilibrium we have two equilibrium condition. So these uh, reactions are statically indeterminants. I will write it reactions are statically indeterminate because indeterminate because the number of unknowns are greater than number of equilibrium conditions and from also from boundary condition if I draw uh, write the boundary condition so at x is equal to 0 we have y is equal to 0 this is a one boundary condition and at x is equal to L we have y is equal to 0 Deflection is equal to 0. Similarly, at x is equal to L, we have dy by dx, our slope will be equal to 0. And you know this boundary condition when you have studied a cantilever beam. Clear? So, how we will find this reaction support at uh, reaction force at roller support? So, we have to uh, take the section of beam at any point. So, let we section it, and this distance is x. And if we draw the free body diagram, so let this is the beam layer. This is so the distance from this point to this point is x. This is the roller support reaction, which is R A, and this is point A. At point A, there is movement again given layer. So if you cut the beam at this section, so definitely there will be a shear force and there will be a reaction bending movement. And let this point is J. Clear? So now we will apply the moment equation that sum of all moment about point J is equal to 0 and taking counterclockwise as positive. So you can see at point J there is a reaction moment which is counterclockwise. It is positive. Now one moment is due to this reaction force which is R A into perpendicular distance is X. So it is clockwise. So it will be negative, clear? And there is again a moment that is applied moment at point M which is counterclockwise. So it will be M0 is equal to 0. So what we do is that we will find this reaction moment M. So this M is equal to RAX minus M0. So this is the moment equation. Now we will apply this moment equation and we know that the EI into D square Y or DX square is equal to moment. And this moment is equal to RA into X minus M0. So if you integrate it once, you will get EI into DY by DX is equal to RA X square over 2 minus m0 into x plus c1. Again, if you integrate this equation, so you will get ei into y is equal to ra x cube over 6 minus m0 x square over 2 plus c1 x plus c2. Clear? Okay, so these are the equation. Now we will, this C1 and C2 are unknown constant, constant. So let this is equation number one and this is equation number two and we will see which equation will be used. So we have boundary condition that at x is equal to zero. We have here at x is equal to zero. 
uh, uh, y is equal to zero we have one boundary condition is this similarly we have another boundary condition that x is equal to l we have dy by dx is equal to zero and the third boundary condition was at x is equal to l we have y is equal to zero clear so we will apply this boundary condition at x is equal to l dy by dx is equal to zero and we will put in equation one when you put x is equal to l and y dy by dx is equal to zero so this term will be equal to zero and we will have zero is equal to r a l square over two minus m naught into l plus c one so we will get c one c one will be equal to m naught into l minus r a l square over so this is value of c1 clear so we will move toward the second boundary condition that at x is equal to 0 we have y is equal to 0 clear so when you put x is equal to 0 in y is equal to 0 so this y will 0 all this x term will be equal to 0 put in 2 put in equation 2 so when you put it c2 will be equal to 0 clear again now you have at x is equal to you have c1 and c2 is again uh, you have c1 as well as c2 so you can put in this equation put c1 and c2 in equation number 2 so when you put the value of c1 and c2 over here i will write it e i into y is equal to r a x cube over 6 minus m naught x square over 2 c1 is this one plus m naught l minus r a l square over 2 and c2 is equal to 0 so this will be equation clear this is the equation and we know that we have a third boundary condition that at x is equal to l we have y is equal to 0 let this is equation number 3 so put it in equation 3 so when you put x is equal to 0 x is equal to l y is equal to 0 so this term will be equal to 0 this will be equal to r a l cube over 6 minus m naught l square over 2 plus m naught into l minus r a l square over 2 clear now if you further solve this equation so you will get the reaction force at roller support which will be equal to 3 by 2 m naught over l since this is positive reaction so it means the reaction force is upward so we have this reaction support this r a r a will be equal to 3 over 2 m naught over l this is how we find the reaction support at this roller uh, reaction force at this uh, reaction force of the roller support at this point A. Clear? So, this is all about how to find the reaction force for statically indeterminate beam. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.